well, hey, normally we're in my garage, but this week we're in Jorgen Mama's garage out in Salt Lake City. Jorgen, how you doing, man? Great, glad you're here. Well, in fact, this is the Race Deck Speed Garage. Right? It is. This is, and, and everybody knows you for you know, the great modular flooring, which we're standing on right now, the Race Deck modular flooring. But what a lot of people don't know is, is what a serious car guy you are. Through and through. <laughs> and your whole life. like My like, whole life. My first car was a 55 Chevy when I was 14 years old. Man, you got to respect that. And it's gone that. crazy it, since then. You know, it sort of has. Like, you have very eclectic tastes, very eclectic collection. Let's, let's start here with one of my personal faves, the Ford GT. I'm a big fan of the, the Ford GT. Who is not? But, but this baby here has got to be one of your prized possessions. It is my prize. When I was a kid growing up, the original GT40 was on my wall, always looking at it. And then I was fortunate enough one day to be able to get one when they came out in 2005. And it's a phenomenal car. It, they're amazing. They're, they're totally amazing. amazing. But you got a couple Porsches too. Yeah, we got a little bit of everything else. I, I, you know, race deck customers have a little bit of everything. We go to some of the coolest garages. We see them, they send our photos in. And it kind of opened my eyes on what else is out there. And I've kind of taken a liking to a lot of different kind of cars. Yeah, well, and that, that is true. Cause uh, you know, even on your website, you got tons of pictures. I mean, people, they decorate their garages to match their cars. And you can do that with Race Deck. You've you got all these options. Yeah, you really can. It, it's so cool. The, the photos that come in and the thousands of photos you'll see on our, on our website is you'll see guys matching colors to their cars or creating a theme in their garage. I mean, really, with some of the coolest rides, too. <laughs> so it inspires you, doesn't it? It definitely <laughs> inspires me. Well, you got, you know, again, I'm a bike guy, you're a bike guy, these Ducatis are fantastic. But one of the crazier cars you've got is the Malibu. So we've talked about that before, but that, yeah. that, this is a killer resto mod, some 11, 12. It's about 1,200 horsepower, and out of all the cars I have, this is the one where I still, when I get out of it, I am shaking. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a pretty serious ride. One of the weirder cars you've got, though, is that, is that Nissan. Yeah, the Ken Mary. The Ken Mary is such a cool car. I brought this over from Japan. It's a right-hand drive. And when you look at it and you start looking at all the lines and the cues, you know, you could pick up the AMX on the back end yeah, yeah. and maybe Mopar somewhere else and a Mustang somewhere else. It's like they try to put together what was happening in that era with hot rodding. And, and, uh, it's and got, here it is. Here it is. <laughs> it's got Solex carbs. It's very raw. It's such a great sound driving it and a raw feeling. It's, what year? This is 73 Ken Mary. It's, it's just to, to, totally cool. Well then, you know, one of the cars that I've always loved, uh, and what I consider a future classic, is this Beamer Z8. What a magnificent car, and they only made them for a little while. Yeah, they made them about three years, and it's the last of the M5 V8 motors, and it's a great touring car. It's my, actually my wife's favorite car. We uh, take this up Canyon Cruise out to dinner. It's a great ride. Yeah, and you look good in it too. Oh, I gotta <laughs> <laughs> Well then, take it uh, back, again, back to your youth. You got this Bronco over here, and it's, it's sitting, you know, under the lift here, and that's another thing. I mean, this race deck flooring can take incredible loads. You can put the lift on the, on the race deck flooring. Absolutely, four post lifts can go right on top. This is a two post. We've taken apart cars, rebuilt engines, dropped parts, which don't get damaged by the way, because they're saved by the floor, yeah, yeah. which is great. And uh, you know, we do a lot of heavy work on this. Like this 74 Bronco here, it's, you know, a lot of work is done on it. Um, and we could do it all right here. So, you know, the great thing about this flooring is, you know, it's a great, show flooring. I mean, it's a great place to display your vehicles, but it's also a great shop flooring. I mean, I got it in my place. I, I, I'm amazed by the stuff. Yeah, it looks good, easy to clean, has anti-fatigue properties. So, you know, if you're under the lift a long time, it's, it's, uh, it's, kind of it's a great shape. working environment. And this is actually the Tough Shield because it's the high gloss, right? So I'm getting even some pop from the floor. Right? Yeah, that's our patented Tough Shield, which is a high gloss, but really durable. And it's not a paint or a decal, it's actually molded in. So great display, but I also noticed you got your roll-up door there. You got free flow there, which is just open flooring. Yeah. Yeah, that is an open rib flooring, suspension flooring, so that if you were coming in with snow and mud, it could drain right through the floor and out the door into your drains. So you can kind of clean up the car and then put it on yeah, display Yeah, it's over great here. for wash bay areas too. Wow. So with all the different colors and designs and everything, sizes, you can do almost anything you want with your flooring with Race Deck. Yep, the possibilities are limitless. They really are, it's so cool. Well, hey, if you want to learn anything more about these great Race Deck products or even some of these cool cars in the Race Deck garage, log on to racedeck.com. What do you say we go for a ride? Right there, for GT. <laughs>